I'm Gage. I'm Josh. We're here to watch the Stars take on the Capitals. And you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Here with Chris, here with Brent, he's got the giggles. Uh, we're going to look at the Hockey East Arenas, which is a division of college hockey uh, in, the, in the United States. In the United States, yeah. Northeast, so yeah. We're going to look at the arenas, and I think, Kevin, I think you were the person who sent me these photos. Uh, they're in no specific order, uh, no rankings here, just we're just going to look at them and, and uh, give our opinions uh, on the inside and the outside and uh, the the images are in kind of a weird order. Sometimes there's two inside images after another and vice versa. But we're going to go through them all that he sent. And uh, you've got, I think, the team names and A little stuff. bit of information. Stuff. Yeah, a little bit of information over there. Yep. So uh, we're going to start with the BC Arena. Mm -hmm. This is the outside, I think. Um, I have an opinion. Already? Let's hear Looks it. like wow. a library. Looks like a library. Looks like I'm going there to learn. Mm. Yep. I mean, it says something uh, different on the top. Like it. Silvio Conti, you mean? Yeah. Well, it's, it's Boston College, and that's the actual name of the uh, okay. the rink itself, but it's Boston College. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it looks, um, obviously this is a very tight end shot, so we can't we can't see the whole thing, which kind of sucks, but um, yeah, it looks... Just more library. Yeah, it looks like a library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a learning place. This is the inside of this? On the inside. The inside. Yeah. 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 I like the dramatic lighting in this arena, actually. It's, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's, it's got uh, one bowl, though. It seats 8,600 and change. Really? It's yeah. a little higher than I thought mm -hmm. it would. Yeah, a little more than I would think, too. I like the I, I like the ceiling of the roof. I like the dramatic lighting. Mm -hmm. This could have been after a goal or something, though. The yeah. lights could have changed. I see a lot of shadows and stuff in the spotlight. I and see something. a lot of light yeah. on the uh, on the audience. Mm -hmm. yeah. The crowd on the right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Right on. All right. Next, BU Arena, I think. Boston University Arena. Boston University. I'm going to find the it here. Agonis Arena, maybe. It says on the side there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it, I can see this kind of be an arena or like a pool or something. You mm -hmm. can tell it's some kind of complex. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What's with the red? I need you to go back there. What's, What's the with red? the red column? The red post? The is it actually part of the building? I don't think. I think it's like a Just monument standing, or something. Okay, monument. All right. Yeah, it's got like a I thought maybe there. it was a, a pillar 7, or something. 7,200 seats. I just found the inside. There, there we go. See the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a score clock, which the last one didn't have, if I remember correctly. Which, mm -hmm. So that's cool. A little hard to see, though. The picture is a bit small. But it looks like, a, looks like an okay arena. It reminds me of the one in Summerside, where you've got that the top where you can walk around the entire mm. back. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you can, if that's actually a case here, but that's what it looks like from here. So. Very good. Looks like an arena to me. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Oof. This looks like a minor hockey league. Holy, this here looks arena. like an institutional building. It looks like the Pondal Arena. <laughs> to me. Mm, no. No, you don't see it? N nobody here knows to agree or <laughs> disagree, know, but <laughs> so, but, I mean, like, it looks like institutional. It looks like mm. there's government offices in there, and yeah, I can see that you're too. going there to get your soul sucked out of your... This is the inside, though. This is the inside. Very low. Mm -hmm. Very low ceiling. It's very low ceiling. You yeah. could get some hockey, but hockey it's, pucks up there. It's uh, nice and bright. That's what I like it's about It's nice that. and bright, and yeah. I think... Wherever you sat, you would see a good game. Like you, yep. the viewpoints would be good. No, I like the inside. The inside looks great. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the Old boards are nice and clean, and that matters to me. Obviously, in a bit of an older arena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm wondering if these pipes up here have heaters or blowers oh, on the other, other side for that. A lot of mm -hmm. minor stuff probably happens in yeah. there. Um, how many does mm -hmm. it seat? Do you have that information? Uh, it seats. It's actually not on this uh, particular piece of information. It seats some people. Yeah. It, seats it was people. built on November 28th, 1972, though. Oh, well, that's you know. likely it's... Still, it's, it's newer little... than the Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, and it cost $2 million when they built it. Ooh, ooh, what is that in today's money? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. This is great. <laughs> well, The University of Maine Black Bears in Orono play there. That Do is they? a fantastic, fantastic arena. Mm -hmm. Is it? Unless you need to clear some snow off the roof. Um, you then it becomes a problem. It's, it'll get, it'll take care of itself. I think um, this is one of the nicest, unique, new, unique most unique, most unique, most unique arenas <laughs> yeah. uh, we've ever looked at. 
Yeah. It looks awesome. I've never seen an arena that I can hardly wait to look at the inside. It's surprisingly true to the uh, Oh, to the man, I am <laughs> yes. not disappointed. <laughs> not. Look at that ceiling. That is wood, is it? Is that what it's wood? That is wood. It's incredible. Fantastic. Yep. And wow. It, and it's been expanded twice, according to Holy Wikipedia. No way. Yeah, wow, it's the Alphon Arena. Capacity is over 5,700. Nice and cozy. Oh, man. Yeah. And it's not too far away from us. No, we, not, not we, far away we at all. We could road trip to go see a game. We could road trip if you could get in there, because hockey is so huge, especially mm. in Maine. That's amazing. Uh, when score the Black clock Bears and play. Yeah, score clock and everything. Yeah, it's, a, it's a big Fantastic. event. Rotating score clock, even? Rotating. rotating. Yeah, clock. those ads got a mo- those ads in the bottom you have to rotate. That The whole thing has to go round. Interesting. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, maybe yeah. it does, maybe it's it doesn't. If you are from the area, tell me, you're does an that rotate? Yes, we want to know. I feel like it should. Yeah. If you're an Orono, Old Town, VZ, Bangor, or East Corinth, let us know. <laughs> mm. All those places. Yeah. Uh, Pukamanga. Next. Aha, the Matthews Arena. Oh, yes. This yes. is a very... This is an old photo. It Look is at those cars. <laughs> Look at those cars, yeah. It's the early 90s, I'd say. Yeah. Mm. Look at that station wagon. Station there. wagon in there. So this arena was the original Boston Bruins arena. Boston Bruins. Really? It's old. This is 1910 when mm. they built this. Bad this boy. is as old as Derek Cope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw back to a video on more post to post. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's old. That's all you need to know. And it looks old on the inside as well. Uh, it's, it looks a little toit. Looks, Why are there no ads on the boards? Is, are they just photoshopped out? Like, is why are they no They're ads? definitely not photoshopped out, but I don't know. You know, and I've seen some games not too long ago from this is Northeastern plays in this arena. Uh, that we get some some of those games on our sports channels here from time to time, and I don't remember if there's advertising or not. I'm thinking that there's not, and it might be a university policy or. We don't, don't want know. your and money. If you look at the ice, it looks in absolutely pristine condition. Mm-hmm. The painting is looks so fresh. Beautiful. I'm wondering mm. if this was a shot just Bef- as they finished the ice before all the sponsors that started could, to take over. That could ice. easily be it as well. I yeah. can tell you one thing. It was shot at 11.26. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's no Canadian flag. It, it was in the previous one, but I don't see a Canadian flag in this one. Yeah, I don't know. The, Which, the, I mean, the previous one, uh, the University of Maine Black Bears being so close to Canada yeah, might play even I, some exhibition games. Just about to say that, yeah. Yeah, the sense. UNB Red, Reds or whatever, so you never know. Uh, okay, so we're going to do the inside of this one first, mm-hmm. and this is the Schneider Arena? Schneider yeah. Arena. There is a Canadian flag. Mm-hmm. There is? There mm-hmm. is. Uh, this is a very... Is it? is it's Providence? in Prov- Providence, uh, Rhode, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Very well-lit arena. All of the the white... In this arena it uh, helps reflect, reflect the light as well and make it look mm-hmm. bright. Um, I like the, their choice of arena seating color. Yes. Are the lower seats a different color or am I seeing I think just they're, they're brighter? Color. No, I think you're right. I think, I they think are the, if they are, just that's shade, cool. Yeah. If it's not, then they should have been. And I like that. That too. seats just over 3,000 fans. Oh, that's fairly small. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, the outside of this uh, Very future. Looks, cool. looks modern. Like it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the outside of the Tsongas. Oh, yes. Is that how you said that? Yeah. This looks big. Tsongas. Yeah. This looks, with the capacity of this. The big tower there. What do they do it? up in the tower? Ooh. It's glass on top. That's kind of cool. What is that? That's where they drop the puck from. <laughs> <laughs> is that your stomach? I wonder Hungry. if I picked up on the mic. Someone feed this boy. Yeah. Hungry. Holy smokes. Uh, it, could be, it could be elevator uh, stuff infrastructure there hungry. for elevators. or. Yeah, or it could be. UMass Lowell plays there, and that seats... About six and a half thousand mm. people. Smaller that's than a that's nice. I like that. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Oh, not the best it picture. It looks of the enormous. But what this photo makes it look enormous. <laughs> um, it's it's a bit blurry, obviously as well. It's hard to hard to tell. Those lights are horrible. Yeah. <clears throat> but you notice they have lights above the ice, and they have lights on either side as well. Mm. So it w- would be well lit. Yeah, it look it, it probably would be well lit. Uh. A right, tough photo to look at. Let's see, it's yeah. too small. Yeah. Okay, That's next. Cool. Hold on. Wait a minute. We having troubles here? Sorry, yeah, this is the Tasanga Center, and that's the inside of the Tasanga yeah. Center. Did someone say UMass for this one? Uh, Did you say that by accident? Because I thought I heard. UMass Lowell. Yeah. In Lowell, Massachusetts, plays there. Okay, well, this is the UMass Arena. 
apparently. Okay. I don't know. Anyways. We didn't do the research for this, so, uh, uh, so it yeah. was provided to us. How embarrassing. Free of charge. Uh, and this looks like an arena. It almost has a, a modern churchy feel to it as well. Yeah. Um, Revival time. I can't wait to see the inside. You think you're going to like it? Whip it out. Whip it out. Ooh, I am disappointed. Yeah, a little disappointed. Well, see, there's UMass Lowell, but there's UMass in different campuses, so maybe that's what we're looking at here. That could be. Yeah. Uh, and, and we can't really see the roof in this shot, so maybe it does look cool. It's hard, hard to I say. I doubt it. <laughs> but you got quite the broadcast center up there. Which yeah, is that's pretty cool. They have a yeah. giant, giant uh, screen down there. Lots of, lots of Corbett logos everywhere. Yeah, it looks like an okay. See the fencing down at the bottom? Uh, like, yeah, right, right here. Oh, this? Like, no, this here. Oh, What's that, yeah. What's the deal with that? Like, that's... Probably won't let, allow people to stand behind the, I guess the so. glass, I guess. It's so. all up in my beans. Oh, I don't like that. That's the photographer's there. Mm, maybe. I wonder if that's UMass in Amherst, Mass. Could be. I guess Amherst and Lowell each have teams. I does not know. Okay. Uh, this is the... UNH. UNH Arena. UNH Arena. Does not look like an arena. Looks like we, we looked at these earlier. You said it looked like, it's a, like a technology place, uh, an oversized bathroom. Yeah, it looked like a like a, a campground or something. In, in a large public park. You know, you see bathrooms over to one mm, side yeah. or a campground. Sure. To me, it looked like a place mm -hmm. that I think it's just due to the lack of any parking or traffic or activity around there. It looks like a deserted place where you just run over to do your thing and then you come back. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, pretty quickly. The inside quite bright. Lots of lots of light. It looks old. How old is it? It does look old. Hmm. But on the outside, it didn't look old. They have no lighting above the ice surface. It's all uh, left I and didn't right. Didn't notice that till you said mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, Whitmore Center. It's built in 1995. Wow. Or opened uh, in 1995. It's seats 7,500. Mm, Whoa, small. that's that's shocking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If if we have the right one here. Yeah, uh, their name the same. Sit on people's laps, I yeah. guess. Uh, okay, UVM. Oh, they're the inside first. Ooh, inside first for this one. This I looks, can't wait to see the outside. This looks interesting. I like it. Look at how high the, the furthest stand goes compared yeah. to the side stands. Yeah, I can't wait to see that side of this. That's cool. That's a really unique roof. I like yeah, that a lot. I like it. You just want to see the outside. Oh, <laughs> man, I can't wait to see it. I look like an aircraft hangar. I was right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's great. It looks yeah, like an looks aircraft cool. hangar. Sure. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That a lot. No, no complaints? Uh, do you have any statistics? Four thousand. If, if it's the one I'm thinking of, if it's the University of Vermont, um, it would be the Gutterson Fieldhouse. Four thousand and thirty-five seats, built in 1963. So wow, that would make sense. Looks like yeah, it, for the totally. vintage of the. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Cool. Okay, XL Oof, Center. The XL Center. This better be really big. Looks like a shopping mall. It does look like a shopping the mall. The XL Center is a multi-purpose arena oh, and yeah, convention center located in downtown Hartford, Connecticut. Right downtown. Yeah. Is okay. Inside. Holy jumpins! It is XL. Look at it that. It is. Those walls are so tall. Yeah, Six, this thing is huge. Sixteen thousand two hundred ninety-four. So this is the arena yes. that the mayor offered to the Islanders if they want. If they had to, if they couldn't play in the island anymore, they. The it must be. Move. This is owned by the city of Hartford. It's okay. not owned by the college, there you go. so that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if that's where the Whalers played when they played. Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay. I'm. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but I don't, yeah, I, I have I, no I idea. Yeah. Never went to a game. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it's. I love the tall walls, and that's mm, a, yeah, there's just, a stupid reason to like in the inside of a range. Well, I don't think so. It's unique. I, I think when you go in there and you could, you, you feel like you're in a huge arena. Like it's just, it feels big. Yeah. And it should. I yeah. see a Hartford Whalers banner hanging oh. over there, so I think you're right, and I was wrong. Yeah. Or at least the Hartford Whalers identity has been transferred be. to this building, so this is totally. the main civic arena, obviously. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, that was the last one. Cool. That's it. We're done yeah, already. We're done already. There yeah. you go. Cool. There you so, go. Uh, that was an interesting little, uh, little tour through the Northeast. I like that. That's yeah. great. You'll have yeah. to join us for some future arena videos. Absolutely. For sure, cool. I'll step in there and provide all of my architectural <laughs> experience. And you're not even a hockey fan, are you? No, you're not just, at all. That's yeah. the thing, right? I don't care who plays at these places. I'm going to rate them as I see them. Boom. That library is terrible. <laughs> I would not go there to see anything. I would go there to read a book. Hmm. Maybe a bit hockey. Maybe you could take oh. the book to the one that looks like a bathroom and read for a while in there. <laughs> if I had to. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. We appreciate it. Hope you uh, like this video. I know there's a lot of fans out there who really like our arena videos, so... 
Hope you like this one. We're not hating on the Northeast, okay? Yeah, we We're love you guys. Um, so yeah. thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. We love it. If you that. like this video, hit the like button. And we'll see you in the next one. Adios.